Hello, welcome back to the Average Pace YouTube channel, where the whole idea of this channel is to help my average pace around the lap improve and to help yours. And today we're going to talk about braking. You have two pedals in the F3 car. One to raise your speed and one to lower your speed. Except one of those is wrong. Whereas the throttle pedal is a tool to help you raise your speed, to gain speed, the brake is not there to slow you down. It is there to help you maintain your speed, maintain your forward momentum. To be the best, you don't want to look at brakes as a tool to slow you down. You want to look at them as a tool to keep you fast. Today, I'm going to show you how. We've come to Brands Hatch in the F3 car because both lend themselves very well for a beginner. This isn't a video for people who understand braking and driving on the limit. It's for beginners who are practicing, who are currently throwing themselves off the track every single session and getting frustrated by it. Tip number one is to slow down. Slow right the way down. Lift off well early. Don't even think about brakes. Just lift off and see where the line is in the corner. How fast can you take a corner without pushing the brake pedal? So we had to use it a bit there, going a bit too fast. Just lift off, let the car drift, glide, be like water in a pipe. Use the curves, let the car flow around the circuit. Discover this first. Learn the circuit, learn the limit of the corner, the limit of the grip, the limit of the car, the limit of speed, the limit of the track. All of these are what the driver means when they talk about driving on the limit. It's the limit of all of those combined. So just take it slow. Rule number one is stay on track. You can't expect to be fast if you're just a beginner. You can't expect it. You can't cheat the process. You can't rush it and you shouldn't want to. Earn your stripes. Just go slow. Just slow it right the way down. Lift off early. Don't think about braking. And then when you get to the apex, you can bring the accelerator on smoothly and accelerate up towards the next corner. And then lift off early. Just let the car glide. Make sure you're hitting the curbs, because the curbs is where the true circuit lies within a track. Hairpins are a different technique, but we'll get to that later. Just let the car glide and flow. The curbs are there. The, the curbs are the true flow of the truck. They are the line you want to take. You want to hit the curbs because they help you position your car at the entry, at the apex, and on the exit. Keep doing that, building at the speed slowly. Learn what's too much speed. And just concentrate, focus on the exits. And just bring the braking in gradually. Trust me, this works. It might seem like it's a slow and tedious process, and it is. But it's a lot less tedious than throwing yourself off the track, trying to cheat yourself to the limit. Because you wouldn't do that in real life. 
It wouldn't happen. You wouldn't... You can't crash in real life. It's out of the question. And the same principle applies in the sim. So when you're ready to brake, when you've picked up the speed a bit, just brake lightly. Bring the speed up slowly. Continue to lift off. Just brake ever so lightly. Feel the car slide while you're on the brakes. Learn what that feels like. I've got a whole other video about how driving off-road can help you learn how to find the limit on the road. Just bring the speed up gradually. And just brake ever so lightly when you need to. Because you've gone slowly, you've put in the time. You've taught yourself what speed is the minimum speed that you need to take. Sorry, the maximum speed you need to take before braking is required. And then just continue. A gradual process. It's about learning what the limit of the car feels like. What does that feel like? What does the car feel like when it's sliding intentionally? It will take time. But don't worry about being the fastest. You've seen how many people throw themselves off the track in races, in practice. You are one of them if you're watching this video. So no matter how slow you are, if you're still on the track, you are beating them. You are better than them and therefore you are faster than them. Build your speed up gradually. Learn the maximum speed for a corner. And then apply it. And you will improve so much faster. So much faster than the competition. Because you see how many people throw themselves off the track. You see how many people crash, spin, wreck others, outbreak themselves. Don't be that person. Use this technique. Because it works. It works, it works, it works. You'll see people trying to overcomplicate braking and they'll put do <laughs> draw charts on the wall, on a board, and they'll say 80% pressure, 60% pressure. What does that mean? That doesn't mean anything when you're on the track. You're not thinking about, oh, I've got to apply 80% pressure for this corner. I've got to apply 60% pressure for this corner. It's about feeling. You feel how much you need because you've taught your body it. You'll still make mistakes. You'll still spin. You'll still crash. But you'll see improvement every day. Every single day. If you don't have time to practice, find time to practice. Because it's worth it. If someone out there is doing fast times, you can get there too, but they put in the work. And you can get there too, because why not? If they can do it, you can. Why not? Why can't you? Yes, you watching this right now. Why can't you be the best? Why not? The only thing that's stopping you is you. Because you better believe it. The best drivers out there know they're the best. And they knew they were the best before they were the best. Just take it easy. 
look at the apex, look beyond the apex and go. Use all of the track, break a little, shift down, apex, go. Applying the brakes is not about slowing you down, it's about keeping you fast. You might find that there's some drivers out there that are one second faster than you are, two seconds, three seconds. But during practice, if you go on their name and look at their laps, a lot of the times you'll see gaps on their times, and that's where they've crashed, it's where they've spun off. That's no good. They might have the speed, but if they're crashing all the time, what good is it to them? What good is that speed? Don't cheat your way to the top. You can get to the top. Don't think you're going to get there fast. Because you won't. But if you really want to get there, practice smart. Practice like you would in real life. you'll get there and you'll have more fun doing it this way applying this technique one more time start real slow look at the apex aim for the curb aim for the exit curb and go Lift off. Don't brake. Just steer the car. Make it slide. Feel what that feels like. We know the next corner up here is a right, right turn. So we're going to stay left. We're going to look for the apex. Look for the apex. Bring the car around. Look for the exit. Bring the car to it. Right hand turn. Look at the apex. Now looking at the exit. Now looking at the exit. Look for the next turn, turn, it's a blind turn, it's a blind turn, where is it, where is it? You know it's there, so you turn, and you go. Apex, now at the exit, when you started to turn, you should already move your head, move your eyes to the exit. Because you've already turned towards the apex, so you know where it is. You've seen it, you've pointed your car, you've made the movement, you're on your way. Onto the exit. Slowly. Maintain your speed. And pretty soon, you'll find you'll be able to drive like this. And you won't even have to think about it. Because your body will know what to do. You've trained your body to know. Put the time in. And you'll smile because it's so much fun. It's so much fun. How is this not fun? awesome one more lap
Remember guys, take it slow. Keep water in a pipe. Flow. And have fun. <laughs> I recommend recommend this car. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped someone. It definitely helped me. I wish I'd figured this out sooner. But anyway, take it easy guys. I'll see you on track. <laughs>